there are some cryptos that are working with regulators and who are working with banks. I agree. Ripple right. would be an example. Ripple like, would sorry, be an example, yeah. right. Now, this is a, and I can, I can imagine in the next five years, instead of us doing sterling against the dollar or sterling against yen and doing these types of transactions, we'll do sterling versus ripple. Um, we are part of this uh, ecosystem at the CFTC, as is, for, as is true for the SEC. Um, but there are many federal regulatory agencies that will likely uh, ultimately have um, regulatory oversight with respect to some element of the cryptocurrency market. Digital divide is going to transition $37 trillion with a T. Now remember, a trillion That's is a dollar a second for 31,710 years. $37 trillion from our generation. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra bullishness. Shout out to the latest sub, Ozman in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades and buckle up because the future's extra, extra bright. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today, right around 1.17 trillion down about 2% in the past 24 hours. We got XRP right under 38 cents, up about 1% in the past 24. We got Bitcoin right around 23,000. Ethereum right around 18, 1900. And we have Stellar XLM in the number 29 spot, about 12 cents, down about a half percent in the past hour. The SEC legally has until 2024 to penalize Ethereum for its unregistered ICO. Will it? Only time will tell. Terrett said. And while the SEC is picking winners and losers, giving Ethereum more time for their upgrades, XRP ready to go, enterprise use, no upgrades needed. The media often frames crypto as a threat to traditional finance. Meanwhile, the world's biggest companies are steadily gaining exposure. You can't beat them. Join them. They know what's coming. You know what's coming and they can't stop it. The AI, the coordinated lies, including the SEC lawsuit about Ripple and XRP have been intentional and from all angles for a reason. It works and they knew it. Proof of work doesn't work and Ethereum gang needed time and it still won't have a better product. So I have to ask you, what do you like about the XRP ledger? Well, I think um, when I when I first started looking into it, um, I was quite surprised because there's quite a bit of rhetoric out there. And if you only investigate things at that level, um, you might be misled in terms of what's actually been built. I think it was a very clever solution to um, solving the energy problem and performance problem of proof of work before proof of stake really became a thing. Um, and, um, and the architecture of it in some ways is, um, you know, if you, if you implement it as the protocol was designed, um, is possibly more decentralized than proof of stake, um, because users get to choose the validators that they want to listen to in a way that isn't you know, forecast in the minds of proof of stake networks. Um, and so you can have this kind of layers of decentralization within the network um, that um, that aren't available in other architectures, which I thought was really interesting. It's so obvious. How can people still claim EatGate is just a crazy conspiracy theory? Library says, for the record, we don't want anyone that is not committing fraud to be sued by the government. But if those aren't going to be the rules, it's important that the rules be the same for Ethereum as everyone else. John Deaton says in May of 2021, Nut Baron ruled the documents are relevant. 15 months later, the SEC lawyers whine like petulant children who didn't get their way like they're accustomed to. Yes, I realized they might run to the judge a third time asking to bar me saying Deaton's mean tweeting again. SEC Gov claims that the Hinman speech drafts are not relevant in the Ripple case. We got the evidence. Get those jumpsuits and get those jail cells ready. XRP is coming. Coindesk says in the absence of congressional action, the CFTC and the SEC Gov could draft a memo outlining what they perceive as application of their regulatory authority in the context of cryptocurrency markets. Commissioner CFTC Johnson says. The chair of each of the agencies is working diligently to attempt to, to find a place that we work um, hand in glove with Congress as they are attempting to outline rules or, or regulation that would be appropriate um, and applicable, not just for our markets as the SEC and CFTC, but more broadly across banking and, and treasury markets um, to ensure that there is a single, as I mentioned earlier, whole of government response 
to the questions that are emerging. Um, we are part of this uh, ecosystem at the CFTC, as is, for, as is true for the SEC. Um, but there are many federal regulatory agencies that will likely uh, ultimately have um, regulatory oversight with respect to some element of the cryptocurrency market. Crypto Eddy startup Heirloom raised $8 million led by Ripple Labs and Forte Labs built on the XRP ledger. No coding required for public-facing branded storefronts to distribute NFTs, XRP, and the ledger is for the world. That means you. All roads lead to the bridge, the interoperable one. Digital Pound Foundation says congratulations, Ripple, for being voted one of the fastest growing companies in the United States. Despite the SEC FUD and the SEC case, we're still coming. SEC who? Riz XRP, only $37 trillion. Won't be going to traditional assets, but digital. Where would that be, do you think? That's just the tip of the iceberg. How much gold do you have? Oh, are you kidding me? Boomer rocks? Zero. Have you heard this Peter Schiff guy? How much Bitcoin do you have? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? It's a really big percentage of my net worth. I'm kind of embarrassed. I often use DeFi every day. So that digital divide is going to transition $37 trillion with a T. Now remember, a trillion That's is a dollar a second for 31,710 yep. years. $37 trillion from our generation to the echo boomers. That $37 trillion is not going to traditional asset. It's yeah, going to digital sure. assets. Yeah, All the money, XRP, built for payments, the mover of value. Gary Genser, whistleblowers play a crucial role in helping us, the SEC Gov detect and investigate and prosecute potential violations of our security laws. And we've been blowing the whistle on the SEC. As of today, we've awarded more than 1.3 billion, 13, to 281 individuals through the whistleblowers program. Gary, we're coming. Gary, are you there? Wrath of K Ripple user Currency Cloud has partnered with the FTFT to launch a remittance app, Tempo, for the US based immigrants. Tempo includes North America, the EU, India, and the Philippines. Currency Cloud has many payment routes. No confirmation Tempo will use RippleNet, but interesting quarter. I ran into Vitalik Buterin yesterday and had a brief chat. Ethereum is likely moving from proof of work to proof of stake next month. This merge is an important moment in the history of crypto. Good luck to everyone involved. Vitalik and I will do a podcast after the merge. Vitalik Buterin. And while the SEC continues to pick winners and losers like Ethereum and BTC, outdated technology, XRP, hidden in plain sight, ready for enterprise use, no upgrades needed, no middlemans. XRP Crypto Wolf, XRP classified as a digital currency, built for utility, built for payments by Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, and HSBC. The banks know what's coming. Nick Bugulis says evaluating amendments and deciding how to vote is one of the most important responsibilities of a validator operator on the XRP ledger. I wrote a post explaining why Ripple validators are now voting for the expanded signer list and non-fungible tokens version 1.1. BPM wallets, BPM for the win. August snapshot and airdrop has not taken place yet, but the snapshot could be any time between now and the end of the month. We will announce it after the airdrop is complete. Airdrop will be a ratio of 1 to 5, meaning a 20% airdrop, 1 BPM for every 5 that you hold. After this month's airdrop, there will be a further 11 monthly snapshots and airdrops. BPM is available to buy on the XRPL deck, such as Sologenic or on XRP or Bitru Official. If buying on the decks, you will first need to set the trust line. Also, if you buy BPM on Bitru, you will need to withdraw your BPM to a wallet, not custodial wallet, if you want to be included in the snapshots and airdrops. Make sure to get that BPM, BPM for the win. Mr. Intuitive, Blackberry XRP says, we see you, Brad Garland House. 577 followers. What will it be by the end of the year? 589. Crypto Maniac, is it okay to short XRP? Something massive is brewing for XRP. XRP versus BTC, still no action, but we got the tech. Ripple got the A-team, we got the evidence, and we're coming to snatch up that top spot, so close to a breakout, XRP versus BTC. Also, we are still in altcoin season up here at 86. Know what you hold, XRP. It was never BTC or ETH. They just want to shake you out because that new standard is coming and it's XRP. $100 cup of coffee, a $50 right. transaction fee. You don't know what it's going to cost you in 10 minutes. That, that's exactly right. Right. There, are, there are some cryptos that are working with regulators and who are working with banks. I agree. Ripple right. would be an example. Ripple like would be an example, right. Now, this is a, and and I, can, I can imagine in the next five years, instead of us doing sterling against the dollar or sterling against yen and doing these types of transactions, we'll do sterling versus Ripple. And the reason being dollar right now is a two-day settlement. 
In something like Ripple, you could do settlement in seconds. And I think that there's a future there where the guy that's trading spot FX today will be trading spot FX against Ripple in the future, in the next two or three years. So I think that Ripple has a great future because it's right now supported by all the banks and by all the regulators. And it has an elastic monetary face. So, so well, if, if we take that, if we take that, and you, and you go to the and you go to the block, blockchain ledger, if you take that concept that, that you're discussing, I I have no problem with it. I agree with it. But you're talking about money. You're talking about transaction, medium of exchange. There has to be something behind it, and that's where I'm going to I'm going to pull this conversation back to gold. There has to be some sort of reserve asset. The the, the problem with fiat currencies right now is that. They can print as much as they want, you know, digitally or they, they just there's it's not tied to anything. And so as a result, the value of the money can be um, negated. It can, it, can, it can be destroyed oh, over time. Yeah, and it is destroyed. No, over I think time. one of the biggest sales pitches that folks that enjoy Bitcoin talk about is the fact that it's finite. And yet you have a fork and boom, here's another currency based off of this one. You have another fork. More currency, another fork, more currency. currency. The, fact, the fact that it's finite, it's, it's is highly finite is actually one of the worst things about Bitcoin. And it shows that really smart developers and really smart engineers don't know anything about monetary economics. Because if you understand monetary economics, you don't want hyperinflation, you don't want money everywhere, but the, the money supply has to grow a little bit. As the economy is growing, if the money supply doesn't grow and the economy is growing, that's inherently deflationary. Each coin is going to get you more and more because you've capped it out. Well, if it's deflationary, if you look at, uh, say, the dollar, you know, M0, M1, M2, you know, M3, et cetera, um, what you find is that most of the money in the world isn't really money, it's credit. Credit is what makes the world go around. People borrow, you know, if you have money and I borrow from you and I give you... XRP, the new rails, the new digital age, the new financial system, backed by gold. TikTok, TikTok. That being said, bag man and bag ladies, we got the Apex. We got this year's lineup from the Apex. We got Thomas, head of analytics and compliance of the XRP Ledger Foundation. We got David Schwartz, co-creator of the XRP Ledger. We got Jessica, NFT artist. Nick Days, co-founder and CEO of Heirloom. We got We Say When, XRPL Labs. We also got NSN, advocate and founder of Cyber Sati. Join the XRP community at Apex and we'll see you up top, top floor for the moon party. I am the XRP Bagman, the moon commander, XRP wins, and I'm currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes or some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD, XRP. buy up that bag. And don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below, all the OGs. Drop a comment down below and drop an elbow on that like button. We'll catch you up here on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. We told you. We knew it would happen and we told you. We told you. We told you. We knew it would happen and we told you. We told you. We told you. We knew it would happen and we told you. We told you. We told you. I told my boss I put my two weeks, I'm feeling bullish. Never coming back, I got games, I'm doing it, I'm through with this. I started saving up and I started getting back, now I'm stupid rich. I'm stupid rich. CNBC, CNN said we hooligans. Who was them? Another party on the moon again. It was closer than sooner then. I'm sorry that you missed it, I'm sorry that you missed it.